Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Reluge. And today, we're doing something a little different. Um, I keep seeing YouTubers doing these uh, tier maker things. And I was like, well, since I'm doing stuff for po like uh, monster tamers, I might as well do a Pokemon tier list. Now, this is going to be Pokemon like that I'd use. Also, uh, just to simplify things, I'm considering the entire like branch of like the evolutions as one Pokemon. Like for instance, right here, Bulbasaur. It would be considering like all the way up to Venusaur, including like his, uh, um, alternates. Which, that is really weird. So anyway, so my tiers, there's the team, or I would definitely put them on my team. Uh, backup is there, I would put, I would use them like as a, uh, like legitimate like strategy. Uh, maybe it's like, eh, I guess I can use it if I have to. Fun to grind. I'll play with the Pokemon. Like, uh, I love grinding. I don't know why. I find it fun. So it's like, I would use this Pokemon to grind and probably, like, level up, like, level up other, uh, Pokemon and whatnot. And then box it. <laughs> it's like, just get it. Get it for the Pokedex, throw it in the box, forget that it exists. So, Bulbasaur. Uh, I do know, like, the uh, strategies and whatnot with his uh, move pulls, and he is pretty powerful. I'll put him as a maybe. Like, if they're, if he's the only grass type that is... Available to me. <laughs> Charmander. Like, it does not matter which uh, alternate version, like Mega, whatever. He is definitely on a backup. Like, I will use him. Uh, Squirtle is definitely going to be on my team. I can use a, a, a really well done Blast Voice. So, Caterpie. It's like, I can see, like, the use for Butterfree, but I gotta box him. I'm sorry for, like, Butterfree fans, it's just... But then, again, same thing with Weedle. I mean, even Mega... I mean, I guess Mega uh, Beedrill's kind of fun to grind. But then, it's... Just, it's only in like uh, X and X and Y. So, Pidgey, though, is also fun to grind. <laughs> I mean, there isn't really much going for Pidgey. Now, Ratata, I will have to put in maybe because Ratata is kind of powerful. 
But, uh... Alolan Ratata will definitely be in the back if I have access to it. That's the problem. Because... If you didn't catch my, uh... Pokemon... Uh, uh, Moon playthrough... He kind of tore up my opponents. Okay, Firo is definitely on the mate. Um, I do like... I like Firo a little bit more than Pidgeot. And plus, the movesets he has is kind of good. Ekans is definitely a box it. He's not that interesting. Pikachu is actually on a mate. Because I am one, one of the ones that don't like Pikachu because of his popularity. But if I'm using, like, Raichu, he's a good, like... He is a pretty decent electric type, but the same. But the Alolan Raichu is the same as like the maybe. So now I do like Sandshrew. Sandshrew is fun to grind, but if I have access to the Alolan Sand Slash, I will definitely throw him on my team. Mainly because it, it's like a, a steel type that was. Massively insane, and I liked it. Nidoran female, I'm gonna have to throw on box it. But Nidoran male is a maybe. And it's more of a preference. I can't explain it. Now, Clefairy is definitely on my team. <laughs> uh, even using him back when it was just a normal type, he was a pretty decent tank. He can, like, take the hits while he's putting the other, uh, uh the enemy to sleep, so... Yeah, <laughs> very useful. Vulpix? Both uh, normal and Alolan is going to be on the backup. I find Ninetales to be very useful. Jigglypuff is definitely boxing. <laughs> I am sorry, Jigglypuff. Zubat definitely goes on my team, and I will tell you why. Uh, he was, like, before he evolved into Crobat, it would have been on the uh, maybe. Especially since before Poison wasn't really that good and he didn't get much good uh, flying moves. But with all the, like, the upgrades, evolving to Crobat, the uh, attack and special attack uh, divide, Crobat is actually a pretty decent Pokemon to use, especially with its insane speed. Oddish is definitely a box it for me. Uh, I don't like his, I mean, Vileplume's not that great, and neither is, uh, um, Blossom? It's been forever since I had to think about that Pokemon's name. Seriously, why is there two? Is it like male, yeah, it's male and female. Paris, I really, really gave him a chance in Gen 1. It's bug and plant, but even with, like, the updated moves and the power, like, the attack, special attack split, it's still a box set for me. Same thing with Venonat. I never really got into Venonat slash Venomoth. Uh, Diglett? is a fun to grind, but I did not like oh, Lolan Diglett at all. 
Now me elf. Ah, uh, so gotta say, both meowth, the normal meowth, and the Alola meowth. I've got to box it. However, Galarian Meowth is definitely on my team. Uh, and Berserker is the main reason why. It's like I know a lot of people didn't really like the Meowth uh, forms, but I thought Berserker was pretty much them trying to correct what they did in uh, Alola. Now Psyduck. Psyduck is definitely a box it for me. Like, hold on. Burp. And it's because I, I get so tired of like the water psychic types. I know he's not psychic type, but he might as well be. Mankey is definitely going to go on my team now. Before he was just the backup or even maybe. But uh in my Pokemon Fusion run, the fu fusion of uh, him and Ratata was, it was cool. It was pretty cool and I love the drawing I drew for him. And then I, I, I called him Whamtic because random sounds. But now since there is Annihilate, he is definitely going to be on my team. Pretty much, like, I can't think of the words, but yeah. Uh, Growlithe, both forms is just fun to grind. Poliwag is a maybe. I like the water fighting, and uh, Poly Toad is also pretty good, but that's just, yeah, it's going to be on the maybe. I mean, look at that. Polyrath is freaking cool. Abra is definitely on the backup. If he's like the only psychic type that is available to me that I like using, then I'll use him. Especially if he has the Mega Form. Same thing with Machop. Machop being on the backup is he's. Oh, really pretty decent. I did not know he had that form. <laughs> now, here's the odd thing. I like Bellsprout. For the longest time, he was my favorite grass. But now he's on the backup because there is a lot better grass types than Bellsprout now. Tentacle, sadly, is a box it. I mean, Tentacruel is pretty cool. But, it's just, it's, it, I, I, it's not even that fun to grind much. Geodude is on the back. Uh, his Alolan form. Yeah, it's, it's on the backup as well. Here's the thing with Ponyta. Normal Ponyta is a maybe. Alolan is box it. I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, why? That's blasphemous. It's another psychic fairy type. And I just get really, really tired of all those psychic uh, fairies. And it's like out of the gate. They just have like, it's a psychic fairy. Oh, here's another psychic fairy. Here's another psychic fairy. Oh, uh, Mr. Mime, let's change that into the Psychic Fairy. It's just, why? All of the slow pokes are fun to grind. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll use them, but I doubt I will use them in any kind of, like, structural team.
Magnemite is definitely going on my team. He was a solid electric type, and I used him until I caught Zapdos. Which, because, which uh, since they both were in the same area, it was pretty much... Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh cool, Magnemite involved with the Magneton. It's like, oh, this is pretty cool. Catch Zapdos. I'm using Zapdos. <laughs> Farfetch'd is amazing. Especially... His uh, uh, Alolan form, though, is definitely on the backup. Because... Surfetch'd is just... Freaking amazing, I love it. Uh, Doduo is on the backup. I would use him over Spiro because Dodrio is fast and powerful. <laughs> Definitely box it for Seal. Dugon is just uninspiring. Grimer, both versions are also on box it. It's also just very uninspiring at all. Shoulder though, he definitely is on my team. Also did not notice that uh, Kingler had a gigantiform. <sighs> Ghastly is on the backup. He is good, especially the mega form. But to be honest, hold on. I'd rather... I like the form of Haunter more than Gengar. <laughs> Especially the... Mega Gengar. That just looks like an alternate version of Haunter. Onyx will be on my team as well. Uh, when they gave him his evolution of Steelix, it made him a really, really useful... Pokemon to have on your team. Drowsy is a mate. Uh, Krabby is box it. Voltorb is definitely box it. Mainly because... I don't know, I, I like the idea that he's supposed to be the mimic of the game, but having them like flip over as the Electro is just so dumb. Execute is fun to grind, especially his Alolan form, especially when it's like freaking tall. <laughs> I mean, that was a really good design. Cubone will be placed on the mate. I like Marowak, but just like normal Shantru, it's not as powerful. Oh, except Alolan Marowak will be on the backup if, you know, I have access to it. Hitmonlee is on my backup, and Hitmonchan is a maybe. Um... I don't know, I just, I kind of like Hitmonlee's uh, design more than Hitmonchan for some reason. I don't know, if I, if I had to choose between them, I would definitely go for Hitmonlee. Like a tongue is a box it. <laughs> just straight up no questions about it. Normal Weezing is a box it, but uh, Alolan Weezing is a... You know what? I'm going to put it as a fun to grind. Poison Fairy is an interesting typing, but... Yeah. It's just I'll, I'll, I'll use them for a little bit, then I'll just throw them back in the box. Rhyperior, though, will be on the backup, because that is a very powerful Pokemon. I know a lot of people didn't really like him when he came out, but he was pretty cool. Chansey is definitely a box hit. Same thing with Tangela. And Kangaskhan.
Maybe. Those were more of like novelty Pokemon that you caught in the um, Safari Zone, to be honest. Well, except for Tangela, he's... but still. Horsey is now on a maybe. Um, Kingdra being a water dragon is pretty interesting. But there's a lot of other like water and dragon types that I would use above him. Box Golding Seeking is also one of those like uninspired uh, Pokemon. Uh, Star U is fun to grind. Mr. Mime and his evolution is definitely a box it. Scyther is a maybe. I um, mean, once again, if it, if I gotta use them, I'll use them. Jinx will be uh, a little fun to grind. Ice Psychic is. Again, uh, well, until he came along, but I Psychic was a pretty interesting typing. You, even though it was Gen 1, you don't really see that even now. Besides, Jinx is a powerful Pokemon. I kind of want to see an evolution for her. Electabuzz slash Electivire will be a maybe. Uh, I do like using him, he is powerful, but again, it's just like... Megmortar, though. Megmortar is on my team. He's one of the fire types that I always use. It's like, Gen 1, I even used Megmar for a while. I'm trying to remember... I didn't use Moltres, but I can't remember what other. F oh yeah, it was Nine Tails I also used. So it was like a battle between him and Nine Tails. Pincers, maybe. He is pretty powerful, and I like his Mega. But again, there's just so much better. Pokemon to use than uh, Pinsir. Torbs, I will actually put in the fun to grind. And that includes uh, the Paladian forms. You know where this is going. This is going high up on my team. This is my icon, my uh, mascot of my channel. He, I, I, I wish, I wish I can uh, keep the Mega Evolution as like a third tier evolution for Gyarados. I really do. Lapras will be forever on the box set now. It used to be on the fun to grind. But, uh... As you know, I, I played Pokemon Dawn for... Or played on the Pokemon Dawn server for a while. Uh, there was these quests. These, uh... You get, like, these quest books, and they were freaking fun to do. Except if you get a Lapras or... Delmise as part of the quests because they made those two for some reason very rare to find i don't know ditto is a box in in my nuzlocks there's three pokemon that i refuse to count as an encounter ditto unknown and wobbuffet Mainly because they're useless. I mean, no, I know Ditto has some good use to it in Wobbuffet. I can see the benefit, but it's just, I, it's a waste of my time. Time 
With Eevee, I'm going to judge it based on his different evolutions. Vaporeon is fun to grind. Jolteon is also fun to grind. Uh, oh yeah, Flareon was the fire one I uh, went to in uh, Gen 1. That's right! But I will use him if there's no other fire types that I can use. Porygon is a box that he was a fun mechanic. Or not mechanic, but a novelty Pokemon. But it, 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 it's pretty much just that. Both Omnimite and Kabutops are on the mate. They're pretty cool, but again, there's so much more Pokemon that I'd rather use over them. Aerodactyl, especially the Mega Form, is fun to grind. He is very powerful, but... And I love my dinosaurs, but he's... Ha! Ah, I don't really see using him on a team very well. Snorlax is definitely a box hit. Um, he's cool, he's powerful, but meh. Now, with the legendaries. So, with the legendaries. Um, I mean, for the most part, it is box it. Uh, mainly because it's like, the thing I have about legendaries, by the time you catch them. Until recently, actually. Their stats will not be as good as, like, say, like your starter. Because your starter's going to have, like, all those EVs and IVs and then just build up on it. But, uh, lately they've actually improved the legendaries. So, Articuno is a mate. I mean, t to be honest, it is powerful. Uh, the... Uh, Galarian form will definitely be on the backup. Zapdos is definitely team worthy, and same thing with Galarian Zapdos. Moltres, I will have to put on the fun to grind, but his Galarian form will be on a maybe. I was not too much of a fan of Moltres. Dratini. Dratini is useful. Before he was just box it, but they done so much more for dragons. Dragonite is actually going to be kind of useful, especially in uh, Gen 9 when they do the terrestrial eyes. I have a lightning one. And I had taught it Thunder. So, so I throw it out and then like terrorize it into the Thunder and go to town with it. Mewtwo is on the backup. And you will see why later. But yeah, I, I understand his power. <laughs> And I don't really care which Mega I use. Mew is a box hit. The mythical Pokemon, for most of them, I don't like that much. I mean, it's adorable. But... <sighs> Chagrita is a box hit. So, yeah, anyway, that's my Gen 1 lineup. <laughs> So, Chikorita, box, box, box. Cinderquill is a male.
Totodile is a backup. Because for Alligator is pretty freaking cool. Now, here's a little uh, story. Uh, first gen, I chose Squirtle as my starter. For some reason, I thought he was going to be a dinosaur. Uh, I was 11 at this time, so yeah. And uh, yeah, even like Squirtle, as in Squirting Turtle, that never crossed my mind. But uh, I mean, I'll still use him, but like Charizard seemed to be really, really cool. And I was like, oh, I should have chosen the fire. So second gen comes around, and I was like, I'm going to choose the fire this time. <laughs> and it turns out I like Tortodile a little bit more than Cyndaquil. Sentret is definitely a box hit. Although if, like, in a Nuzlocke uh, scenario, I will use one. Hoot Hoot will be on a team. Uh, I like Noctowl. I like how it's a flying type with psychic moves. I wish he got a psychic form. Like either like an alternate form or a new evolution. I was really rooting for a Hoot Hoot to get a new evolution. Hmm. Box and box, thank you very much. Those two, they look kind of cool, but they suck. Oh, and also it's like, with these two, they just really solidified the weak bug type uh, mentality. Chinchu is a maybe. I mean, a water electric. That is kind of cool. And it's two type coverages that I use a lot. So, if I have to, combine two and one. Boom. There you go. Togepi used to be a box it. Now it's a maybe. Togekiss is actually a pretty powerful Pokemon. Zatu is a maybe. It's unfortunate because I like the design, but again, even with like all the updates and the improvements, he is just a. He's not that strong. Now, Mareep is a backup, especially if, uh, with Mega. Because Mareep is a pretty, pretty powerful Pokemon. Meryl is a box. <laughs> I didn't really like Azure that much. Sudowoodo, fun to grind. Uh, and he's one of the sleeper Pokemon, in my opinion. He is very powerful. Not very, but he is pretty powerful, especially with the moves that he learns nowadays. Hop-Up is definitely a box it. He's kind of cool, grass flying. But Jump Fluff isn't that powerful at all. Apum is definitely a box hit as well. And I'm just gonna go Sunkern. Uh with Apum, even with his new evolution, it's not that good. Yan, Yama, Ya with uh, Yamega, actually that's a mate. Because I do like me a, a good Yamega. 
Ufer, fun to cry. They don't have the Paladin stuff because the Paladin Ufer would be amazing. Both Espeon and Umbreon are on my backup. They're, they're pretty cool, especially since the uh, special, like the physical and special attacks play. Murkrow is amazing, because Hunchcrow is pretty good. Mistrevious is on the team. And this was another Pokemon that fell under the radar because you caught it at the end of the game. And by then, you'd have your team all uh, figured out. And it, it didn't evolve. And yes, that, that is a factor because it's like you got your team figured out. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. Oh, it does not evolve? Okay, just put it in the box. I don't know you. Unknown is boxing. I mean, oh my god, now I got. And I already had mentioned that Wolf of Fed is a boxit. Drafrig, though, is a team Pokemon. Um, even before he evolved. I really love Drafrig. Especially since it's a psychic normal that gets rid of its ghost in uh weakness. Although I think it should have been Psychic Dark. Panko will go on to Fun to Ground. Because I like Fortress a little. Dunsparce is also on the Fun to Grind. He's one of the Pokemon that I felt that needed some love, but the love they gave him... It's like, okay, let's just take him and just duplicate his section. Oh, and no, very rarely you'll get a, another section. <sighs> it's like, it was a disappointment. Should it, I would have accepted a normal ground type. Gligar is on a maybe. Uh, Gliscor is pretty cool. But for being a, like a flying ground type, I don't think they utilized him that well. I don't know if the uh, glide score with the aerobat, uh, aerobatics is pretty insane though. Snubble is a box it. Coolfish. Actually, I'm gonna put him on me. Because even with, like, the Hisuian form, he is a powerful Pokemon, but it's it's another potential loss. Can we all agree Shuckle should be on a uh, uh, does-not-exist list? Heracross is on the backup. I mean, he's up there with, like, Pinsir and Scyther as, like, power. But then you throw Fighting in the mix, and he just becomes a force worth... worth a force to reckon with, I think is the term. Um... Actually, Sneasel will go on the mate. Both uh, him and uh, his suit, because they're kind of cool, but... If I have anybody up here, over him, I'll use them. Teddy Ursa used to be a box it, but now it's a backup. Because I do love... Ursaluna, I believe. I, I, I believe this is his new evolution's uh, name. And I, I hope they do it, like, keep their 
evolutions in the, uh, like, reoccurring, because that would suck. But that's for a different video. Ah, <sighs> Slugma is a fun to grind Pokemon. I like him, I love the design, it's just not that strong. Hillswine is on the backup, Ice Ground, pretty cool typing, and he becomes powerful. Corsola. Normally it's a box it. But the Galarian form, I would have to throw on a maybe. Because it, it, it is pretty good. And even though I'm a fire person, for Pokemon, I like the dark and the ghost types. Remoraid is definitely on the fun to grind. <laughs> Octazook is just like, a, it's just a fun Pokemon to play with. Delibird just box it. Because screw Delibird. He's a, uh, um, novelty. Ah. Uh. Manatee is a fun to grind, but I will use him on a team if, if everyone up here is not available. <laughs> Skyrim is a maybe. It's, it's a, a pretty decent and solid Pokemon. I just would like to see a little bit more love for him. Not necessarily new evolution, but they haven't used him in many of the games. Houndoom is more in between team and backup because I like him. It's a fire, uh, dark fire Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure I used him in Gen 2. I think. But he is a really, really cool design. Fanpy's also on the backup. He's, he is a decent ground type. Stantler, even with his evolution, is fun to grind in my opinion. Uh, Windier is pretty cool, but still, again, I have a lot more psychic Pokemon I can use. Smeargle is an interesting design, but he needs to be boxed. Him on top is pretty cool, but I'd prefer the other two over him. They'll take his definitely box it. Now for the legendary dogs. You know what? They all are on the backup. Because I can use either one. Does not, well, it does matter, but you know. Lovator is on the backup. Just easy, a decent uh, uh, Dratini clone. You'll rarely see me put legendaries on the team, but. Those two were pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna put you get put you like this, so that you're like fighting each other. I also didn't really like Salabi. Trico is on a maybe. 
I mean, he is pretty cool, and his evol his uh, mega is pretty interesting. Torchic is on my team. <laughs> like hand hands down, flat out, he was my favorite starter for a while. Uh, this one's a maybe. Puchiana is fun to grind. I mean, again, decent design. I like them. Now, Zigzagoon is fun to grind, but a Lolan Zigzagoon is on my team. Because uh, it's like the design of him, that would just put him down onto fun to grind, but. Was Obstacoon. He was amazing. Box Weedle and all of his, uh, um, like awfulness. I liked Lotad, but his evolutions is just, blah. uh, he will go on maybe. Because he is a pretty cool Pokemon and I like him, but um, again, it's just, I'm. Have any of the grass types that above that? Taylor, I'm actually going to put on the box. Yet. Um, at this point, it, it, it's like it's another normal flying early Pokemon. Didn't really add anything to the table, and it was just boring. Wingle is also on the box. It. Interesting design, but... <sighs> now, for Gardevoir, she's on my team. Uh, Gallade is on a backup. So let's get his box it. Shroomish is fun to grime. Slackoff, though, is on a maybe. I mean, the, 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 all the situations are going to have to be favorable towards him in order for me to use him on my team over everyone else. But he is really good. It's just his uh, truant is kind of a downside. It's meant to be. Ninjask? You know what? Ninjask will be the maybe. Shed Ninja is on the back. Now, I like his Wonder Guard ability. Uh, and I accept that he only has one hit point. That makes sense. And he is very... Uh, I can use him in like a uh, strategic setting, except every time I try to use him like legitimately on a team, the opposing team knows poison gas. Poisons him, dead in one turn. I hate it. Wishmere will definitely be on the backup. Xcloud is fantastic, especially with uh... Up war. Makuhita is fun to grind. Nose pass is box it. Skitty is also box it. Uh Sable Eyes maybe. Along with Ma Isle. But if if I have the mega it'll, it's a different story, but you know. Agron is on the backup because that is a very solid steel type. Metatite is definitely box it. He 
is definitely a maybe. I mean, decent electric type. Ooh, these two. These two box, definitely. And those two aren't really that grand either. Roserade will be on. Or Roselia will be on the backup. It is a pretty good Pokemon, especially all the upgrades. Gulpin is a box it. Uh. It's been so long since I played with that. I can't remember. Karn is something. He's a maybe. Uh, he's a very, very, like, fragile glass cannon. Whalemur's fun to grind, especially if they have a uh, Whalemur or a Whalelord at like a its uh, actual size. <laughs> Camera up will actually be a um, May. Because I can use him. He'll be, he is a pretty decent fire ground type. Charcoal is box it. Spoink is box it. Spinda is definitely box it. Uh, Truffage, though, is on my team. Because Flagon is a pretty decent Pokemon. Oh, I'm a little disappointed I didn't fully go on the little one shaft. Technia is on the backup. I didn't really like Altaria that much. I know it evolves into like a uh, dragonfly, but it's just, it was kind of boring to me. And talk about boring. Zangoose, Saviper, Lunatone, Solarok. Barboach, maybe. I mean, its only weakness is grass, so. Corfish is also maybe. It's, it's a fun Pokemon to use, but again, different water types up there I'll use. Claydol is another maybe that's like if. If that's why I have to use, I'll use them. Didn't like Crawdilly that much, but Anorith is a maybe. Decent rock bug type Pokemon, but again, there's more to use. Phoebus is on the back of it. I don't like that as a Pokemon because it tried to take over Gyarados's uh, spotlight. And I hate how you have to evolve it. But Miltic is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. Cast form, box it, another novelty. Same thing with what's its face? Shup it. Is on the. Yeah, Shuppet it and the Dust Skull are both on the backup. Because they're both really decent ghost types. Tropius is on a maybe. Because I, I, I can use it, and it's a good boat. Time ago is uh, definitely fun to ground. Absol, I'll actually throw on my team. 
especially with its mega dark fairy type. That was pretty cool. Snover will also go on my team. I can go either Glalie or uh, Frostlass. Does not matter to me. Spiegel will go on to the maybe. He is kind of cool. I like his little ball form. Both evolutions of uh, Clan Pearl's fun to grind. Cool designs. Seelocanth is a box it. It is kind of powerful, but again, novelty. Love Disc is also box it. Uh, Bagon is on the backup. It's a decent dragon type. Beldon definitely is on the team. It's been a long time since I've actually used him, but he is good. These guys are on a maybe. Registeel is on the backup. And these guys, sadly, are boxing. I didn't really enjoy these guys too much. Both Kyogre and Groundon will be backup as well. Rayquaza is on my team. Now, Jirachi, he was better than the last two, but still box. The Oxys is a maybe. And which form does not matter. 